Hey Room 12, let's explore some digraphs. As we move through our foundations unit, we will identify and read words with digraphs. You might be thinking, what in the world is a digraph? Well, its meaning is really simple. A digraph is two letters that come together to make one new sound. Some examples of digraphs are TH, SH, WH, CH, and CK. Today, we will be focusing on TH. When the consonants T and H stick together, they make this sound. Repeat after me. Awesome job. Think of a word that you might know that has the digraph TH in the beginning. Take a moment before we move on. If mom or dad or brother or sister is around, you can turn and talk and tell them some words you know that have the sound T-H. I mean, I'm sorry, the letters T-H in them or the sound Perfect. Some words that have the sound th at the beginning are thumb, think, and three. Get your mouth ready to say the word thumb. Great job. The first sound that you should hear leaving your mouth will be the sound th. Now, the next couple of words I'm going to show you has the digraph TH at the end of the word. So the last sound to leave your mouth will be the sound th in the words math, mouth, and bath. Say them with me. Math, mouth, bath. Perfect job. Now we're going to move to our interactive foundations board. Let's build a word that we know that starts with the digraph TH. So the first sound we hear should be the sound th. Can you think of a sight word that we learned in room 12 that begins with the sound th? Perfect. Let's build the word them. Ooh, let's stretch those sounds to spell it out. I know that the sound th is made up of the buddy letters T and H. Keep stretching those sounds. Th, eh, eh, eh. What vowel makes the sound eh? Perfect. E, th, eh, mm. What consonant makes the sound m? Mm? That's right, m. Let's tap it together with our pointer, thumb, middle, and ring fingers. Tap each sound as we go. Th, e, m, mm, them. Let's tap it one more time. Eh, mm, them. Awesome job. Let's put our letters back before we move on. What about the word the? We know this word by sight. T. H, E, the. Both of these words, them and the, have the digraph TH in the beginning. Let's see if we can come up with a word that has the digraph TH at the end. Does anyone have an example? Perfect. We learned about this example in our last slide, but it's some of our favorite subjects in school. Does anybody think they know what it might be? 
Yeah, math. I hear that sound at the end of the word math, so I know my buddy letters T and H are sticking together to make a digraph and to make this sound. Let's go ahead and build the word math. Let's stretch out our sounds as we go. I hear the sounds M mm, first. Perfect. M, M, A, A, A. A. And then I hear one more sound in the word. We know that when T and H come together, that makes the sound. Let's tap it out together. M, A, A. Math. There are three sounds in that word. Let's tap it and blend again. M, A, F, Math. Perfect job. You can continue to practice on your boards at home on your screens by dragging and dropping. Whoop, let's put my T right back. All right, let's get back to our last slide. Before I let you go work independently, we're going to read a couple of sentences together. Now, we are looking for digraphs TH at the beginning and at the end of some words. Let's read it once through together. Do we need to drive north? or south. Those sloths are very slow. I think I am thirsty. Beth made Thanksgiving dinner. Babies like to suck their thumbs. Mom said I need a bath because I am filthy. So you can pause and rewind to hear me read it again, or you can have mom and dad help you to read if some of these sentences are too difficult. So now what I'm going to have you do on your own, but I will show you how to do one of each. You are going to go on a digraph hunt, and you are hunting for the digraph TH. So you're going to take your magic reading finger and go through each sentence to find a word that has the digraph TH in it. Now, these two columns, they're kind of like our sorting mats in math. This side means that you see TH at the end of a word, and this side means that you see TH at the beginning of the word. So, hmm, let me go through my first sentence. Oh, oh, here's a digraph, TH. I'm going to underline the word and box the digraph. North, north. Is the digraph at the end or the beginning? Where do you hear that sound? Th right at the end. Perfect. So you will write the word north. Oh my goodness. I'm going to write with my magic computer marker. North. All right. We got it. Or south. I found another digraph, TH. I'm going to underline the word south as best I can, box the TH, but I'm not going to show you where it goes. You're going to do that part. I'm going to skip down to the next sentence. Those sloths are very slow. I will go back and look for the digraph TH. Those, oh, right here, I found it. They're sticking together here in the word those. I'm going to put a box around my digraph TH and I'm going to look at 
whether or not that th is at the beginning or the end of my word. Get your mouth ready to say the word those, those. That's right, I hear the th sound in the beginning. So I will copy the word those onto this side of my sorting mat. Now you'll do the rest on your own with the help of mom or dad. So remember, you are getting your eyes ready to go on a hunt for the digraph TH. Happy reading. I cannot wait to see all the words that you build and find.